of our overall Oregon uh, corporate tax system, it is extremely complex, and this would make it even more so. More money for Oregonians. That's what one group is trying to get on the November ballot this year. That initiative called Oregon Rebate looks to tax corporate businesses in the state and turn that money into a rebate for people who live here. Thanks for joining us for K2 News at 6, everybody. I'm Steve Dunn. Local economists tell K2 if the measure eventually passes, there's a lot of fine details that would need to be worked out. K2 Shelby Slaughter joins us live now. She's been on your side all afternoon trying to learn more about this mission, and everyone would be eligible for this $750, Shelby? Yeah, Steve, this $750 right here could even go to kids. And all you have to do is live here in Oregon 200 days out of the year. A push to get more money into your pockets. Right now, Oregon Rebate is verifying signatures for an initiative in hopes it will make it on the November ballot. Complexity is not never a good thing in, in a tax system, and so this would add to that. Mark McMullen is an economist in Oregon. He tells me there's a lot of fine details that would need to be worked out to pass this. The measure aims to increase the minimum corporate tax rate for companies making more than $25 million in Oregon from the current rate of one-tenth of 1% 1 to 3.1%. We're talking about uh, a large tax on a relatively small number of taxpayers, and those usually have more economic distortions than other taxes where you have a, a low rate and a broad base across a, a lot of taxpayers. And so when I say economic distortions, that's the sort of thing we're talking about. I reached out to the Oregon Business and Industry Organization for their take on the measure. They sent over this statement saying, quote, IP 17 would impose a massive tax increase in Oregon. If it qualifies for the ballot, our organization will be involved in a campaign against it. And we are confident that when voters look at the facts, they will vote to reject it. Supporters of the mission say the ballot measure could put more money into households, boost in the economy, and reducing poverty. Something I also asked McMullen about. One of the big statements from people is that this will put more money back into the economy. What's your take on that? Uh, in terms of putting money back into the economy, uh, certainly uh, that uh, households get more money, they'll spend more money. But at that, at the same time, it's designed to be pretty much neutral in terms of the money it's taking out of corporations and passing on to households. And the initiative required more than 117,000 signatures. Right now, the Secretary of State's office is verifying 135,000 signatures that the group turned in. Reporting live in Portland, I'm Shelby Slaughter, K2 News. Shelby, thank you.